Good afternoon, everybody. It's lunchtime, and it's Tuesday. That means it's time to go on the road with the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And I am Brandon, the founder of the SAS. Today I've decided to kick it old school while reviewing a couple of 7-Eleven's newest uh, hot, you know, fresh food creations. Uh, this 7-Eleven is on Seminary Road in Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, sort of not really on the road for me, but anyway... Uh, this 7-Eleven is one of the bigger, nicer 7-Elevens in the area, nice and clean, usually has most of the newest products out there. They didn't have one of the products I was looking for today, but they did have a couple of them. They had the Blazing Hot Nachos, which as you can see are $2.99, and they also had the Chicken and Beef Mini Tacos. Those are uh, apparently made by Don Miguel's makers of many frozen burrito and taco type treats throughout the years. Their chimichangas are pretty badass, actually. But anyway, these um, blazing hot nachos, when I got a close look at them, I realized they weren't actually tortilla chips. It looks more like they're, you know, blazing hot Fritos. So that could be a pretty cool thing. And as you can see, I've topped them with the uh, nacho cheese sauce, jalapeno uh, peppers. They're pickled, I believe. There's some chili on there, and I put a couple dollops of salsa just for uh, health, you know, just so I get a little bit of health food in me. And then the tacos there, one of them's chicken, one of them's beef. I can't really tell which one is which. Hopefully, I'll be able to tell by the time that I actually taste them. All right. So, I also got Mountain Dew Kickstart, which is apparently 5% juice. Big whoop. And it's supposed to be an energizing fruit punch with just the right amount of kick. Well, we'll see how that goes. And it's got a lot more calories than what I normally drink, which is the Rockstar uh, Recovery line. But let's see if I like that as well. All right, guys. Let me get into this sloppy mess right here. And you guys take a look at Seminary Road and this Awful looking defense building while I take a bite. Now, taco number one, which kind of looks like beef. Give that a shot. Actually, I think that might have been chicken. And, well, that one looks like beef too, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> That's actually the chicken. All right. I think the only thing blazing about those nachos was the color. They're bright red. There's nothing blazing and or hot about them, not even the spicy nacho cheese or the uh, pickled jalapenos are very spicy for that matter. Kind of disappointed in that. Um, very disappointed in the mini tacos. They're dry, not a lot of flavor. You really can't tell them apart. I guess the second one was chicken because it looked a little white on the inside when I bit it. But they really didn't taste any different. Um, so I can't really say that I enjoyed those very much. You might say they might be better with some salsa, some sour cream, something like that to dip them in. But they're definitely not good enough on their own. Four for a dollar, uh, I guess, is okay. But, you know, all said, I spent about $7 on this meal. It's definitely not the best $7 I've ever had. Let me go ahead and try this kickstart and see if it redeems it any. Meh. It's okay. Yeah. I like Fruit Punch, so I can give that a pretty decent grade, but it's not anything that's going to make me go crazy and, you know, not drink my Rockstar Recovery instead. So, uh, the nachos, disappointing. Half of a thumb up, you know. Nachos are, are good. 
pretty much all the time, so you can't give them too terrible of a grade. Uh, I actually probably think that they're good being frito nachos, but blazing hot, that's not really what they are. The chicken and beef, mini tacos both, quarter thumb up, if that. Very, very hard to give those any kind of decent grade. And then the uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart, I'll go ahead and give that three quarter thumbs up. It's pretty decent, but I'm not going to, you know, stand in line and buy it unless it's on sale or something like that. Um, so overall, not the best seven dollars I ever spent. Was trying to go on a little bit of a budget this week. I guess I could have gotten something better, like a Jerry Subs or something like that, for around the same price. Anyway, so what can you do? You can't cry over spilled milk, right? Okay, so uh, you'll see me again on Friday night. Um, for pizza night. Also, I'm looking for a partner in the local area to participate with me in Cult Moo's multi-channel challenge eating 10 McDonald's hamburgers uh, on or before April 13th. So guys, uh, if you're in my area, you're an SAS member, you want to join the challenge, drop me a line on Facebook or on YouTube or just give me a call if you have my number and we'll get that hooked up. So, with that being said, in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you Friday, and that's next time, so bye-bye.